Well, we're here today outside the old Ford Works at Halewood here on Merseyside. Uh, this is now uh, Land Rover Jaguar and it's owned by the Indian steel firm Tata. Uh, this plant here, there's hundreds of jobs at risk right now. Just down the road, of course, at the Vauxhall plant, there's thousands of jobs at risk. All because the British government is quite prepared to bail out the banks with taxpayers' money to the tune of billions and billions and billions of pounds. But uh, when it's productive industry, it's another story. Now, Tata earlier on this year went to the British government uh, and said, well, we need a bailout. Now, that's actually a scandal in itself. This Indian company bought um, everything from here, lock, stock and barrel, a uh, total value of £1.8 billion. They're now asking for a billion pounds of British taxpayers' money as a sort of bribe not to close it down. We in the British National Party say quite simply, that is outrageous. If the government can bail out the banks, it should bail out productive industry, but it shouldn't be bailing out foreign capitalist companies. If they can't make a go of it, places like this should be taken over, financed by the government, and then handed over to the workforce and the management to run as workers' cooperatives. Not as lame ducks. If they can't make a go of it, then let it go to the wall. But we believe that here, especially with Land Rover, they could make a go of it. If they were put on to replacing those soldier-killing snatch Land Rovers in places like Afghanistan with decent new equipment which was fit for purpose, that alone would make a huge difference. Everywhere you go in this country you see ambulances and police cars made by foreign companies. Why on earth doesn't the British government compel the utilities of Britain, taxpayer funded, to buy British and to create jobs for British people? One simple answer is that we're in the European Union and they won't let us. That's another good reason we should be out of the European Union and free to determine our own economic destiny and put British workers first.